friends welcome back we are on episode nine i am so excited for this episode we're on zoo number two and we are going to try expanding quite a bit we had a lot of really good feedback from the last episode and the last couple of episodes and i've been reading through all your comments and i'm really really appreciating all of them if you want me to put in a specific type of animal i will definitely try and do that in the next couple of episodes um know that today i'm filming probably one or two episodes so just so you know that in advance uh so if you don't see an animal that you've requested to be put into the zoo for a couple of episodes that's probably why um i hope you're having an amazing week don't forget to click like and subscribe i also i uh, am streaming on twitch every tuesday and sunday at the moment um in the evenings and been really enjoying streaming and really getting into youtube and i've been really enjoying this recently um i had to take a little bit of a break this week uh which is why this video is a little bit late out because i've been a little bit poorly this week which is really unfortunate but we are back to pretty much full health so here we are filming let's jump in to our franchise nice little hundred conservation credits right there let me just jump into here so we do have our two zoos in all of our zoos we have 122 animals and look how much money we've made already that's amazing we definitely need to try and earn some more conservation credits for definite let's jump into tropicana zoo we started making some good money last time in this zoo, so I'm excited for it. Alrighty friends, there we go, jumping straight back in. Uh, so just as I jumped in, I had a little notification saying A, there's high amounts of litter, and B, many people think our zoo tickets are underpriced. So let's go and fix that quickly, let's see what they're at. Oh no wonder they're at 5 and 3, so let's put that to like 10 and maybe 5. Then as new people come in, let's see how they feel about that. It's good. Expensive. Okay, so that's too much. What if I did six? Okay, that is far too much. People are being turned away. Please come through. There we go. It is fair. Okay. Let's grab a keeper quickly. So, we already have our capybaras in. I love capybaras so much. And we actually had some capybara babies. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we now have like six of them in here. Like six little babies. Cutie pies. So I do need to keep an eye on that and just make sure that there isn't any inbreeding happening there. And then we've also got our Thompson's Gazelle over here and we also had some little babies as well, which is really, really cute. So we've got two of those little babies. Unfortunately, they, they were the inbred ones, but that's not, it. we will survive that. We've also got our Titan, are they Titan beetles? Goliath beetles, my apologies. Let me just clear some of that out. There we go. Hopefully a keeper is coming. I think maybe they're getting some food. Now let's just have a look to see if where we can see there is. Okay, so maybe we need to get... Let's have a look at our staff as well, just very quickly. We actually only have one keeper. Let's definitely go and hire another one. Let me just go put them over here so they're... Because we only actually had one keeper, which is obviously not ideal. We do you have two caretakers? I'm gonna get one more vendor quickly. Hmm strange let's train up some more of these keepers there we go okay i just very quickly want to see what our vets are doing 
We've only got one vet at the moment. I might hire another vet. And say the only thing that they can do is conduct research and I don't want them to conduct research and I might just get them to start going through the different um, diseases Mitch Torres seven how are you okay so one of the um, comments from our last episode was um, I love this so far. I was wondering if you could put in the Barbarossa or Colombian white paste capuchin. I don't know what a Barbarossa is, so let's go find out because not got a clue. I don't see it. Maybe it's an exhibit. What's a Barbarossa? Oh, it's like oh, it's the no. It has a different name. It's one of those fun things. It is an animal. It's called a north something. There it is. Let's see if there are any in. Oh my goodness, there are. Okay, and this one's only a hundred. That's a very good one. That's pretty good. That one's not great. Let me just have a look and just see how many we can have. One male and up to four females. We can definitely put some of those in. I saw something here. Oh, no. Just still high amounts of litter. That's so annoying because there are bins everywhere. Hmm. Oh, I know what the other thing I was going to do. We've only got one mechanic at the moment. But, oh, I didn't mean to grab a keeper. I meant to grab a mechanic. And then say that Gino can do mechanic research and Ada... Where is it? There. Cannot. And then Gino will be the only one that will do research, which means that Ada should be able to go and um, do the research, uh, uh, do all the fixing and everything. So let's complete some more of these themes. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can get these Barbarossas in then. So the Zoopedia, let's just have a quick look and see what they say. So we've got three adults. If I just do four quickly, so 335, grade two, 1.25. Perfect. But you know what? I might actually do them just a little bit further down. Here. Apologies that if you heard that vibration, it was my watch telling me to do some activity. <laughs> Thank you, watch, for reminding me. Uh, right, habitat gate. Let's pop it as close as we can for the keepers. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Where am I trying to take these people? There we go. One way glass. Is that going the right Oh, my goodness. There we go. Let's get these Barbarisas in. 
I do think that this is going to be slightly too big for them. Oh yeah, it's massive. We could probably actually then I'm wondering that's actually enough space Let me pause for a second. I'm going to put these in there and then I'm also going to put the spring box into the other side over here, I think. So I'll do that quickly and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, friends, welcome back. So I have just very quickly built a very little enclosure here. We might actually need to expand this one a little bit because I could only really fit one big enrichment thing in, but they're actually pretty happy in terms of enrichment. Um, so I'm not really too worried about that. I had to trade out one of the spring... Oh, throw the box around. I had to trade out one of the spring box because otherwise there would have been inbreeding. Uh, but these guys are also now really happy as well. So we've now got two extra animals in. Amazing. That research is also complete. That's perfect. Um, I might start getting them to research on some of the other things. Right. Some. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like all of our capybaras have now grown up. Including the one that's like just be oh, I'm really hoping that wasn't. Right, I'm gonna send those three. Actually, I'll send four of them to the trade center. Wow. Let's have a look quickly now. Two, three, four. I'm gonna release those to the wild. 485 conservation credit. 89 even better. Because we do have quite a lot of them now. Maybe if I can release one more. There we go. Now we do still have some of the other animals from the previous zoo. Why didn't I put this one in? Well, for one, its fertility is not very good anyway. I might just sell that one. Yeah, for eight conservation credit. No, well, nine. Even better. Crater is visiting the sea. Very cool. Um, I'm pretty sure I just had a notification about these guys as well. Wow, 14 of them. Uh, yep. There we go. I mean, look at, like... We have 48 of them in here. If I was to sell all of those, it would give us 13 grand. I'm not going to for now, just because we're okay for money. And they don't die when they're in there either, so that's not too bad. Okay. I would quite like to get... I might actually just expand this out now. might just need to check on their terrain and things yeah their terrain's just been thrown off slightly that's fine oh. it's basically like a mud bath one was the other one yeah this one there we go I have sand now. 
There we go. Just want to add a couple more plants in down here so it doesn't look as weird. Oh, now there's too many plants in there. Okay, I guess we'll take some out. There we go. That'll do, I guess. That research is complete. Perfect. I'm going to get them to research our North Swalesi Barusa. Try saying that one quickly. Well, at least now there is a little bit expanded. I want to put in here like a restaurant. I think. Or something for the guests. Now, we used this restaurant before, and I did actually really like it. So, I think I'm going to pop it in here. Oh. All right, there works too. And then... Where's the other restaurant tables? Hey, maybe all of our staff room is full. Let me just grab another one quickly. Actually, I could just pop in a large staff room and that would solve that issue. Oh my goodness, what is happening here? There we go. Right, so let me link tables. So select nearest, confirm. There we go. New world theme. It's coming along nicely. It is still saying though that our restaurant is inaccessible, but I don't think it should be. No, I think it's fine now. There we go and we can use that nice little area there in the future i kind of maybe want to decorate that yeah cool let's try and get another exhibit in shall we Oh my gosh, we can get some axolotls in. That's cool. Oh no, that male axolotl just uh, expired. That's really annoying. Literally just as I said that. Ugh. Let's see if we can get anything else that has got male and... Well, we can get that one. Polygamous. All right, then. Two, three, four, five. Cool. Actually, do you know where I am and put that? Oh my goodness, our Barbarissa's already looking at having babies. That's quick. One, two, three, four, five. In they go. Let's get the climate sorted quickly. Nice. The layout's not going to be good for a while. Can we see any? 
I never know where they are. Ooh. Can anyone see any of them? Where actually are they? I literally don't see any of them. Oh, there! That's cute. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. I need to stop. There we go. Oh, capybaras are having babies. Hello. Well, let's turn on the exhibit boards for that. I have life beetles. I have offspring again. Amazing. It's only nine of them. Underpriced. That is what I love to hear. Let's see what they think is fair. That's what I love. They're all having lots of offspring and that is what I love to see. Let's try and keep it within how many spring boxes have we now got? Because these things will also breed like crazy. Look, we've already got another two expecting. Oh, no, we've got some fighting going on. And they're hungry. That's never good. Okay, let's release that one to the wild. And then let's quickly have a look at our staff quickly. Okay, so we are feeling the stress a little bit. Excuse me as I'm just slurping my iced coffee. There we go. There we go, nice. One thing we probably need to look at doing is maybe getting a little bit of education in at some point. I wonder if we could get like an education, like an education talk in, I mean. Now, someone told me about this, how you could just put on the position snap. If you remember back to my first, look how much easier that was. Good Lord. Incredible. There we go. Vet research is complete and mechanic research is also complete. That means, oh, and our inspector, perfect timing, has left a report. Okay, so that is the number one thing is upping our education now. That's the number one thing for making this zoo even better. So I think we're gonna leave it here. We've added in two extra animals, which is amazing. Our capybaras are about to inbreed. That is not good. I need to go through these and check them quickly. Do you want, let's do that now. So just in case anyone wonders how I do this, I just click compare mates here. So this is telling me that all of these are inbreeding with Francisco. All of them are inbreeding with everyone. Okay, so what I'm hearing here is that we need to get new males. 
let's have a look and see if there are any first before jumping straight in. There definitely should be. There are not, and I... That's a lot of conservation credits. Okay, the other option here. I hear you going, well, why don't you just get new male, new females? Two, three, four. Actually, I literally didn't mean to do that. The only thing is we might maybe need to get some more keepers because there are now quite a few more animals so i'm gonna get four keepers in total there we go and then hopefully that's gonna fix some of our issues as soon as this one how long has this one got january year six okay so as soon as that capybara is being born, I will also get rid of that capybara. Cool. Alrighty, I think I'm going to leave it here. We've also gained quite a bit of money and we're now at 2032 conservation credits, which is incredible. We've now got a little baby one. Let's see how, oh my goodness, we've got two little baby ones. They are really cute. Although it's so dark. Maybe we need to get some lighting in. That might not be a bad shout. It's in construction. so that we can see kind of a little bit about them. Oh my gosh, they are actually really cute. They're just like little pigs. That is adorable. Okay, so as we go, we will like add in some like lights, make it look all pretty. The, the sun is coming up though. We are at 47. We are hovering around, making a profit of 16,000 a year though. So that's really good. Alrighty friends, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you all have an amazing week. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, friends.